going on everyone it's Mike back again it's early early start um, I'm in a different location today so I thought I'd do a little video like this hope you don't mind hope you can hear me um, yeah there's not been loads of news coming out really of Everton you know obviously Luke Dean's pulled out the front squad might have a grade one tear I believe so we'll see how long that's going to rule him out for I, I have no idea be nice not to lose him for the next three games they're all winnable games you know Watford West Ham and Wolves all games Everton can win two of them at home um, you know you'd, you'd like to you'd like to feel confident about them games um, so that would, it'd be a big blow bearing in mind we haven't got a left back but what they do is, I think Coleman will be back. They'll just move Godfrey over to the left hand side. Um, other news: there is there isn't actually tons of news. Everton have been linked with a couple of players. Um, one again is Diaz. Diaz has been linked with a move again, which um, is a player that I think many of us would take. He, he, he's obviously, you know, well respected in Portugal. Um, he's got a good reputation. He, he's got good feet. He can score goals, he can beat men, he's quick. Um, he's probably everything you need a winger to be. Um, he's very direct. So, yeah, that's good. We've had some good comments from Charleston as well, basically saying that he wants to commit to a long-term future at Everton and that, um, you know, Everton are looking to tie him down to another contract, which, again, big news, good news. So nothing negative, really, coming out of Everton at the minute. We currently sit third on 14 points. Again, positive start to the season. Tough result against Man United. We got we got the result, you know, disappointing when you look at the last seven games. The only defeat is Villa and we sort of fell apart. Albeit they should have probably had a red card or or at least something was given to um I think it was Konza or or, or whoever, you know, was holding to Mario Gray at the time. But you know, apart from that, Everton have been fantastic this season, so no negatives from me on that front. Um I've got a video with Millsy coming out really soon. Um, I just haven't haven't done it yet. I was away this week, so me and Millsy, um, I just said to him, can we have a week off this week? So we will be back either recording today or tomorrow, so expect that. Um, in terms of any other Everton news, I really do think a lot of it is, is just as you'd expect, really. Um, international break, very quiet. You don't get linked with any of the players that you you maybe want to be, you know, that you want. We're a long way out from any transfer window. The biggest news from a football perspective is, is of course, Newcastle United um, with their new owners who, who just happen to be worth £230 billion. Pounds. I mean, that's just... I mean, imagine having that much money. What would you do with that money? I'll tell you what I would do. I'd buy a great big fucking watch. Nice big Rolex. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, apart from that, there really is nothing going on. I'm not going to spend ages and ages and ages doing this video because um, there's no point. There's literally no point. It's literally just me talking. Complete shit for five minutes. So, yeah. Um, make sure you get yourself a Decore raffle ticket before they end. Really important. Ends tonight at half seven. This video will be out at 12. So, well, it might even be out this morning. I want to put it out now. Um, so, make sure you get yourself a raffle ticket. Um, any other news? <laughs> no. Can't really think of anything. No. So, um, yeah, guys. Have a good day. I'm leaving it there. Peace. smiling and putting his thumbs up. I don't know what, I'm, the camera's on Oli. I don't know what he's putting his thumbs up. So you up. can't explain that, why he's doing that? The camera's on Oli. I don't know what he's putting his thumb up at. He can't be happy with this. Oh, Michelle. None of the coaches so can be happy with this. what's that about then?